Hi everyone. Have you heard of the bridge Choloteca? You know, neither had I until just few years ago. It's a 484 meter long bridge over the river Choloteca that runs in Honduras, a small country in Central America. Now, this region is famous and notorious for its storms and hurricanes. So about 25 years ago when the government decided to build a bridge, a new bridge across the river, they were focused on durability. They wanted a bridge that would withstand all the extreme weather conditions that the region faces. A Japanese firm was contracted and they built a solid bridge, a beautiful suspension bridge across the river. It was a modern day marvel of design and engineering. And this bridge was thrown open to the public in 1998. Every time someone crossed the bridge from one bank of the river to the other, they could not help but admire the beauty of this brand new bridge. It was Choloteca's pride and joy. In October that same year, in 1998, Hurricane Mitch hit Honduras. It was a devastating hurricane. The rain was torrential. It poured and poured and poured. It poured 75 inches within four days. An equivalent of the rainfall that the region would receive over a period of six months, all in four days. The area was inundated. Everything was underwater and the river, River Choloteca, swelled. It swelled to six times its usual volume and it just flooded the entire region. It was horrible. 7,000 lives were lost and the bridges, all the bridges in Honduras, were swept away. They were destroyed. All except one. The bridge Choloteca stood strong and perfect, built to last, just as good as it was on day one, unaffected. But there was one problem, a big problem. The road that led up to the bridge and the road that led away from the bridge, both of those roads were washed away, they were swept away by the hurricane. And you know, not just that, there was even a bigger problem. The river had flooded so much, it had swelled so much that it actually changed its course. It cut a new channel and now the river no longer ran underneath the bridge, but beside the bridge. You can imagine, there was this perfect bridge, a bridge built to last, but a bridge that led nowhere. You know, ever since I've heard that story, it stuck with me. And in my personal and professional life, as I go on and I build bridges daily, I usually focus on the durability of the bridges I want to build, the speciality, the perfectness of each bridge that I want to build. But ever since I've heard the story, I pause. I pause to consider the possibilities of the river that flows underneath my bridge the possibility that that river will change its course. None of us want to be left with a bridge Choloteca, a bridge over nothing and to nowhere.